Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and today I have a bit of a ghetto-ish vlog video. I wanted to uh, make sure you guys could watch a little bit of the gameplay right here, so uh, I apologize for the quality before the video starts, and I apologize for any shaky tablet or anything. I'm using a tablet to record myself, and usually I have something to set it down on, but at the moment I do not, so I'm holding it. So, uh, yeah. Basically what I wanted to make this video about was Black Ops 3. The World Reveal trailer was uh, yesterday and I am so excited. This game looks great and you know personally before I said that I was going to get the next Call of Duty if it had EXOs in it. However I think I've changed my mind partially because I am a Call of Duty fanboy and I've owned every single one since COD 4 and uh, you know some better than the others. However you know I just love Call of Duty. I love uh you know, just the multiplayer aspect. That's pretty much what I play Call of Duty for, multiplayer. I don't play it for zombies or survival or campaign like other people do. Um, I'm just strictly multiplayer. That's all I play it for. Now, uh, I'm sorry if I uh, kind of look off screen sometimes. Like, I have kind of a cheat sheet here. I have uh, some articles here I'm going to read about Black Ops 3. And maybe some stuff that you guys may or may not already know. Um, and uh, stuff like that. So, like I said, apologize once again for, like, shaky cam. If you guys actually want to see this gameplay, I will upload the raw footage to my channel so you guys can watch it there. I am using the XMGs. These things are just so much fun to use because nobody ever uses them. And I have the, uh, the Elite versions, I believe. I believe these are called, like, the Bacon and Eggs or something like that. They have, like, plus three damage for, like, minus three accuracy or something like that. So those are just a lot of fun to use because you, you don't really see them that much. So, uh... Continuing, I am uh, reading a, uh, this article is from a Push Square. It is called, Seven Things You Need to Know About Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on PlayStation 4. So, to start it all off, the game has only officially been confirmed for PlayStation 4. And, you know, this is pretty awkward. I'm sorry if I get a little dark. That's just the screen just trying to uh, watch that. Because I have it set on the uh, gameplay, so you guys can kind of see the gameplay clearly. But, uh, continuing, the game has only officially been confirmed for the PlayStation 4, which is a bit different from the past, considering usually when the Call of Duty, next Call of Duty was announced, it was, like, Xbox gameplay, Xbox everything, really. Um, if you guys have been familiar with, uh, with, uh, Call of Duty, you guys know that Microsoft and Call of Duty have kind of had a thing, and, you know, all the DLC and stuff usually ends up on Microsoft, on, uh, pretty much Xbox, before it moves on to PlayStation 4 and PC. However, it's looking like the case that this Black Ops 3 will actually change, which would be pretty crazy. And it would be awesome for myself, considering I am a PlayStation player. I, uh, I would very, very gladly see, or be happy to see us get DLC and stuff first. Because, you know, being uh, a month later, I feel like I get stuff spoiled for me whenever I watch a video and stuff like that. So, uh, moving on, I guess I could talk a little bit about when the uh, the game is set. So, uh, basically, if you guys have seen the trailer, you guys may know that it is set in uh, roughly uh, 2060. In the, uh, not the official reveal trailer, but the one, the teaser before that, uh, the last date that popped up was 2065. And uh, basically what's going on now is, basically, all of the, uh, the bigger companies have... Um, basically created advanced defense systems so like airstrikes helicopters airplanes and stuff like that just aren't effective anymore uh, because their defenses are so well so this pretty much leads us back to ground like soldiers and stuff like that and uh, you know it's it's kind of like making its way back around because you know you're having foot soldiers out there uh, fighting again now this is a bit different from what we've seen before and uh, basically the best to describe this game it is Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare. If they had a baby this would definitely be it. Now there is a sort of exosuits in it however you're not going to be jumping around like crazy like you do in Advanced Warfare. The, uh, the jumps are very timed and you can only do them a certain amount of times before you like run out and have to recharge them. So uh, I'm just going to keep on uh, moving on with this. You can now play co-op campaign with your friends, and that is just amazing. I'm so glad Call of Duty has done something like that, because personally in the past, I just haven't felt the need to play campaign 
by myself. I, I've never really been into Call of Duty campaign, but I think being able to play with my friends can get me a little bit more involved and be much, much more funner. Uh, so, so far, all we know is it is a four-player co-op, so that would be pretty awesome, and there's special abilities and stuff that you have to uh, kind of sort out between you and your friends. Um, I, I, uh, the, I might come up in another article later, but I'm not seeing it in this one. And like I said before, the game has only been confirmed for the PS4. However, there have been P or PC specs released, so it's assumed that it's also going to land on PC. And we can probably also assume that it's going to land on Xbox One. Now, I believe that this next Call of Duty is going to be current-gen only, meaning it's not going to be on last-gen consoles, so PS3 and Xbox 360. Which, I mean, it would suck for you guys, but... You know, as the games get more and more advanced, you know, it's harder to put them on older consoles. And I figure what they'll probably do is something like they did with Advanced Warfare, is have other companies come in and help them create the last-gen versions of the game. So, uh, moving on, there are some multiplayer specialist classes. Now, I'll probably get to these a, a little bit later. Um, you get it more in depth. I'll probably do that in another video actually because this one uh, will be running pretty short very soon um, Another thing that's coming back zombies I know a lot of you love zombies and I have a lot of friends who pretty much played uh, black ops 1 2 world at war and Advanced warfare for zombies and it is confirmed it is coming back if you guys saw the world reveal trailer after the uh, the release date which was 11 6 15 I believe it was um uh, there, there was a zombie like breaking through uh, some board and whatnot right after that I actually didn't see that the first time because I actually closed the video as I saw the release date because I thought it was over So uh, if you guys might have missed that It's it's there zombies is coming back. So uh, It's it's kind of tricky. Exosuits are not coming back in a way. However, you're pretty much a, a cyborg for the most part. However, the one of the multiplayer people or soldiers, I guess, is actually a robot. So you can actually play as a robot. So uh, another thing they have that you kind of need to know is you'll be able to move more freely than ever. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have been at the, uh, the Treyarch Studios and have actually already got hands on with the game and basically whenever they were there the developers kept using the term guns up guns up guns up and uh, basically what this pretty much means is you're gonna have full control over your gun and uh, you know some people who have already played the game have said that they uh, they really like the gun mechanic within this game and it may be one of their favorites so far because what this does, it basically allows you to shoot your gun anytime, anywhere. While you're wall running, which is a new thing, which I kind of hate personally, but you know, it's, it's something new, so maybe we'll get used to it. Um, you can shoot underwater now, which is kind of cool. And other things like when you uh, mount something and jump over it, you will have full control over your weapon as you're jumping. So I'm very happy to hear that. I've been killed plenty of times jumping into a window. And just getting stuck in that animation, just knowing that I'm going to die. So, uh, the, the gameplay in the background may end, but I will keep on with the video. So, uh, moving on. You must, to get access to the beta, you must pre-order the game. Now, I know that sounds a little bit cheesy and stuff like that. However, all you have to do is, say, go to GameStop or whatever your closest game place is that's doing the, uh, the beta orders. And just put down five dollars. That's all you have to do. Put down five dollars, and you're pretty much guaranteed a beta spot. So you want to do that as soon as possible because you have to actually go and register for the beta. And I don't know if they have a select number of spots. Um, I would just definitely get on that if you plan on being in the beta. So there's been rumors about when the beta is going to be. However, that I'm not officially sure. Um, many are saying that they uh, think it's going to be ready somewhere around E3, which I can see. And uh, YouTuber Drifter has actually said it won't be ready till about GamesCon, which is about a month or two before the game's release. So that's a little bit later. So uh, 
moving on a little bit, I'm not really seeing any much from this article, but uh, I will go ahead and move on to the next one. So, uh, you know, so far I have really enjoyed what I've seen. I can't wait to see more uh, gameplay and stuff like that. I want to actually see some gameplay. Um, that would be pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking through this article. I'm not seeing really much here. And, uh, you know, I'll probably make another video about this. I'll probably try to get all my articles together so I aren't kind of like searching for them as I'm creating the video. But, uh, yeah, so uh, it's definitely looking like Black Ops 3 multiplayer is going to be kind of evolved around esports. And uh, personally for me, I kind of like this. I like the competitive Call of Duty stuff. However, uh, you know, I do see them bringing back League Play, which was absolutely amazing in Black Ops 2. And, you know, I don't think Advanced Warfare or Ghost did that good at all. I, I just prefer the regular lead play that we had in the Black Ops 2. And hopefully they just go around and fix that a little bit, prevent DDoS attacks and stuff, getting you kicked from the game and stuff like that. So, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's a lot better than, uh, you know, previous Call of Duties with the, the eSports stuff. So, uh... You know, I think I'm actually going to uh, end this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the shaky cam and the gameplay in the background. Uh, once again, I will upload that. And, uh, you know, I will have more Call of Duty videos. I do plan on posting more. I am sorry I went for a few days without posting uh, any vlogs. I know I said I was just going to try to do them every day. But I'm going to try doing that once again. So, uh, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Black Ops 3 and whether you're getting it or not. And uh, that's all I have for this video today, guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.